That doesn't seem right. Guys, gals, and fellow gender non-conforming pals, welcome back. My name is C28, and it's time for another vlog. That's just gotten to me that that movement has become very repetitive. I should move to the to my left next time, just for, just for the hell of it. Today, had some class, had some lab, and had some interesting connections made. So let's start with lecture and lab. So today's lecture was pretty much about punching in, which is the process of, in adult, like Pro Tools, going uh, to play a session, and then a certain point within there, an artist may say, hey, I wanna record right there. You can punch in, as it's called, which is essentially where you uh, press a button and that fancy button, after being set up right, will replay a certain portion, continue through, and then you can record in that section. Like now, when I just punched in the video that I'm editing, fancy stuff, and then it'll play out. So punching in is very useful for that because you can click right when they tell you to and then it goes back and then it can go with pre-roll and that roll out or whatever it's called. Um, now myself being the only artist, I just kind of don't use that. I guess I could use it with a matriarch if I do like live stuff. Um, but again, potentially I'll have a career as an audio engineer. So that could be a useful thing. That will be a useful thing, especially Pro Tools. And just understanding Pro Tools better as a, as a system. Um, and then today's lab is very fun. Let's see if I can pull up the uh, lab itself as I talk about it so that we're not wasting a bunch of editing time with me fast forwarding and stuff, which I'm gonna do anyway, probably. Um, but if I go to online here, aha, that's not it. Um, essentially we were recording ourselves doing a little WWE commercial and we had to replace things by punching in for, for this example, if it's different cities. So we were saying essentially like, that's not it. There you go. Like a little advertisement for some WWE event that's happening. And then um, be like, if you sign up right now, you can enter to re receive tickets for New York, for uh, London, for Hong Kong, for whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll load up here so you can kind of see the session. Um, but yeah, we had our microphones in today. We we're understanding a little bit more about how the stuff works. Um, oh, okay. I downloaded the um, the thing that gets us to it, not my upload. That's, I was like, wait a minute. Did I, did I not even upload the right document when I did it? But no, I did. I did. Um, dang, it looks like there will be some fast forwarding done here because um, I'm running out of things to say that are substantial. And this thing's about to need to be opened. All right, it's open. Ah. Okay, so fun news, the audio is not working. I know that's an issue with my um, playback engine and I'm not gonna fiddle with that right now. So just trust me, um, I did attempt to get the thing working for you, but it didn't work, so sucks. But essentially, yeah, we were just uh, punching in doing different sessions or different re-recordings, dub overs um, to get different cities in. Uh, and then we recorded one take of uh, something. Yeah, because there was like a line or whatnot that said, um, basically go WWE to see some really cool action that's really, really exciting. And then replacing that with like, skull crushing action, that's gonna, you know, just going insane with it, because WWE, um, who by the way are like very uh, strong partners with Full Sail. So WWE and Full Sail end up doing like a lot of stuff together, which is pretty funny. But you know, they end up in the lab. <laughs> I say not sponsor, but technically, I, I guess maybe we are, and we sponsor them, and, and it's kind of like a mutual relationship. It's pretty fun. Um, man, that's 
pretty much it for stuff today. Again, uh, th this class may sound really dull and boring. Like, oh, we just did playback, um, or we just did uh, punching in today. That's it. We just learned about that one thing. Well, yeah, but no, what we really learned about is all the little details behind it and every single function and all that. And I'm not going to go into that because um, that's probably not as entertaining as like in music where we're like learning about different theories of like, oh, by the way, for making music, like something, one thing, not like 80 things. This is an interval that you can use that does this and you can do fancy math stuff with this to do this. And that's a little bit more, you know, talk, talk aboutable uh, as opposed to um, just menus <laughs> but we are we are genuinely doing a lot of stuff in the class it's just not all, not all of it is what i deem noteworthy for the video like it's good stuff uh same as last class we had a lot of stuff that wasn't noteworthy but it was like it's good stuff but not for the video you know because it's just kind of boring from everyone else's perspective um and i'm not here to just like give you my full sale degree <laughs> or not degree but my true 100% unfiltered full sale experience. Now I'm giving you a filtered full sale experience so I can just sum up what things are. Yeah. Um, so that's that. I'm holding my finger like this because I broke my nail and it looks ugly. So, yeah. Uh, connection. I didn't talk about doing that. Um, so I stayed after a bit to help out one of my mates, um, Terrell. We, we homies, yeah, <laughs> with uh, some stuff. And the lab instructor, uh, we started chatting and um, I got a really good connection for doing game audio stuff. Is um, I could have just done the research myself, but I didn't. And now I have the name, but I got the name of uh, the course director for one of the game uh, dev classes. Um, and it's like really big in the game dev, uh, what's it called? degree so i definitely want to get in contact soon probably right after this video and i might even just go to full sale and go to the um department and just be like yeah is he around here and, just... <laughs> and yeah because i think it'd be really cool if i can get in contact with uh with him and Expl explain that um i am an experimental electronic music artist and sound designer and i would love to work with the film students and the uh, get the game students rather um to make some projects. And I think that'd be really cool to have those connections. And a lot of the graduate students, students getting their master degrees, I'll get in contact with them and do, be doing stuff with them, meaning I got clients. So that's fun. Um, also, if you have any projects you're working on, you would like me to do stuff with it, I, I would definitely like to take a look. So uh, don't think I'm some famous YouTuber you can't get in touch with. I have like 500 subscribers. 570 last time I checked. Um, I appreciate it. I'm not Mr. Beast. <laughs> you can talk to me. I'm a human person. And Mr. Beast is also a human person that you can talk to, but um, not as easy as you can talk to me because we've got a smaller community here. So chat me up, you know? Send me a message. Yo, C28, I've got this project. What do you think about it? I'll reply. I'll check out your stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, audio nerds got to stick together or just entertainment nerds got to stick together. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's a really fun contact. I'm excited to have <laughs> and hopefully get to work on a lot of student projects, a lot more of them rather, and really get that C2A name out there. Really, really get that C2A name out there. But uh, I've been working on uh, Lost Melodies on the Timbers, as I'll say, until it's finished. Uh, I just finished mixing Stock in Suspension and I think it went pretty well. Um, the original was not outstanding outstanding um but the current mix i have right now sounds like this that's really good i think it's a it's a very good mix that i have right now but there's some things that conflict of course you have that that synth the main synth lead that comes in and the second synth lead that comes in um i don't know if we'll give you the whole thing because that's kind of spoiling it i'll give you like a little bit 
uh, or rather I already did because you saw it. Um, but I think it is well, it's well rounded. It did a lot of um, sidechain uh, compression to make sure that when things come in, they don't like start bleeding into other things and uh, messy, gross signals. I have it ducked down so it has room for it. Um, EQing with space in mind, um, panning properly, redoing some other things. Um, but yeah, I just spent like bloody two hours mixing it and it's good now. I know my mate Nick, who's probably watching this, hi Nick, would say, nah, what are you doing? 15 minutes. There's people who just spend 15 minutes in their mixes. Like, if you spend more, nah, that's not it. That's not it. It should be quick. But no, nah, I, I probably didn't make it the best way. So, yeah. Um, is there anything else? I don't think there is anything else. So, yeah, without that, uh, anything else left, um, if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below and I will post your comments here. I will also potentially post your comment here. And a tertiary possibility is here, where I will hide behind your comment in fear of judgment. Hope you all take care of yourselves. God be with you. And goodbye, YouTube.